Why hello there, this is South the Guy Wait, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation of my redstone scoreboard as you probably just saw. But that's not really what you're here, you hopefully want to make one of these things, so I'm going to give you the instructions on how to do it. It's not going to be like place a block here, place a block there, because this thing could be made in a variety of ways. This is just one of them, and how I did it on the first way, because I wasn't really looking for functionality, well, I was looking for functionality, but I wasn't looking for aesthetic appeal or uh, simpl simplicity, just wanted to do it, so I did it. But, and by the way, at, if at any point you're judging, like, the sound of my voice or something, uh, turns out my mom has bronchitis, my sister has walking pneumonia, and I'm somewhere in between, so... It's just brutal on my voice, so uh, I got water in one hand and Minecraft in the other, and I'm going to show you how to make a thing out of redstone. So anyway, this the entire cobblestone thing on the ground that I'm on is the redstone uh, input. It, basically, all it is is transferring the switches over there, so that way I would have more space to program. Um, you don't actually need this, you could just make the switches all the way over there, but I didn't think that would be very functional. Uh, so I decided to do all this stuff. But, uh, all you basically need to know is that it goes over there. But, uh, if you want to see how I do this, is, um, each line thing right here is, uh, a number. So, like, 9 goes from here, no. 9 goes from here, then 8 goes from here, then 7, then 6, 5, 4, and so on. And uh, for these ones, they're below, like this one too, uh, it's below the cobblestone. The cobblestone's there to insulate it, so like you wouldn't have the redstone right there crossing with the one below there, because it does transfer up blocks, like right here, Whoop. like right here. Uh, so that is how I was able to condense it, so it's just 10 blocks that way instead of having it 20 blocks that way, which would be pretty hard to change numbers. Uh, but over here, also, if you're wondering like why it's so different for each line, I did this because uh, if you have redstone torches like right there, if that was a redstone torch down there or something, then it can make a one clock, which would short the circuit, unfortunately. So even uh, insulating it doesn't completely insulate it. So sometimes like, I had to bring some up right there and some down, some down somewhere around there. One second. Screw you, McAfee. I don't want to update. I think I'm fine with how it is. I'm serious. They have updates like every other day. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so those transfer the power over here and these are each of those so this is zero this is one this is two this is three four five and so on um, the reason I did these double inverters right here it's just so that it's the same distance from these over there so it just makes it simpler so I have a good thing to base it off so because zero is one of the simplest it only has one segment of the seven segments in the number uh, turned off so I'm just gonna follow that one I'm not gonna turn it on because I don't wanna have to deal with broken inverters but it follows this path and then goes under here under this cobblestone path lag uh, you gotta hate it so it's still going under here and it continues all the way over here and dips down to make room for this that was just an innovative thing I did. And then, goes over here. And as you see, there's a couple inverters right here. These inverters weren't actually needed, but the reason I did that is because if you power a inverter by the opposite way, like if you power the torch like that, it's not actually going to do anything. So this is a great way if you want to insulate the uh, segments that way it will make it so one segment's not going to be powered when it's not supposed supposed to be because more than one number has to power each segment it would have been a lot more simpler a lot simpler if 
it wasn't like that, but that's how it is, so that's how I'm making it. So it goes around here, then it goes over here, powers this block, which goes up there and all that, and that leads to the middle segment of our lead to that layer. But first, each of these, I even labeled them so I would know it's better for me to program it, and also it's better for you so you can tell, but each of these things leads to the corresponding segment on the scoreboard. So this one would be the top right one, the middle one, the bottom right one, the bottom one, top, then I believe this bottom left, then that one's top left over there. So uh, each of those is how the input is set up because with this style it's just a lot simpler so I just know where to program it automatically. I could have done all of the programming, all this in the air to get rid of this stuff but I didn't feel like having to make a bunch of skyways and stuff like that. One second. Take another drink. Gotta love that water. Anyway, so the power travels up here and then goes up there and here's another inverter. So I'm going to go up on the top one and then jump down so you can see it better. So it would go up here and this would be powered off because it's inverted. And this, so this powers that. Now this just continues on and it powers up these three things and those go on and power I think maybe another no they don't power another inverter but they go and power the uh, three redstone torches that make up the middle segment so that's how the zero starts and if you're wondering about that one block right over there that sticks out I just simply could not figure out a way with the space given to uh, make it so the thing doesn't short circuit because like if you realize right here when you're powering a block, you have to have two blocks of redstone on it to power the third block, right right there. But as you see right here, this thing makes a one turn, but it doesn't power a block right there. Um, see if... No, I'm not going to put a redstone torch, that would just screw it up. But the power is not being transferred to that block because the power doesn't... It doesn't know because it has an alternate path right there. So that's why I had to make inverters and, well, no, insulators right here with these blocks. Um, so it doesn't cross the path, so it can power those blocks with the redstone torches on them. And I just could not figure out a way how to make it so there wasn't a need for another inverter over there to make it uh, able to show up correctly. So that's the gist of this. But as you can see, you'll be like, Celtic, what's with all this other stuff? Well, that this is really just me working around the other uh, programs. As you might have guessed, I when I programmed this, I went from uh, I went in numerical order, so from zero to nine. That's the reason you might find nine or seven of them uh, really complex because uh, I had to get around other things and prevent them from powering segments that weren't supposed to be powered. But because one is a pretty complex one because it has to power multiple segments at all but the the two right ones I believe. Yeah. Well actually, if you're ever wondering about what segments should be powered, I made a handy dandy chart for them, which I'm not gonna like say each one. You can just pause the video if you really can't figure it out. But um, here they are. As you can see, 8 is none. It's actually pretty funny. I decided to make an 8 switch or something. But over here, I think, yeah, it doesn't do anything. It just stops. So it, the power will transfer over here. But I just made it just in case I ever wanted to make a reset switch. So it turned them all off, all the segments off. But I was thinking that wouldn't be very good with the status of the inverters because they will break easily and if I turn them all on that's turning every inverter in this area uh, to the opposite which would just it would make a big boom basically not really but anyway 
so that is that now I will show you the one path so as you see one just transfers down this line and it goes over here and then I decided to make this one also underground for the most part so it follows this cobblestone path over here over here and it goes under oh, I shouldn't jump down and it goes under there here where it comes back up this this inverter is used to power um, that and also to insulate it so it doesn't go back around here so that powers the top left then it goes over here and this one splits off and powers um, I think that's bottom left yeah then this one goes over and powers the top and then it also splits off right here to power the bottom then it does not in fact power the bottom left no bottom right but it does go over back here through there and power the top the middle one uh, so that's how all the inputs basically work they just get over here and prevent them from powering other segments that should not be powered through the invert the Insulation of inverters, and also some of them use the 15 block limit rule for uh, uh, redstone powering. So, like some of them, I just basically make random stuff. I think maybe one over here is one of them, where I just make random stuff. So, uh, as you can see, Heel believes that the area he marked out is huge. Well, that is true, Heel. Anyway, I, I may show you that in a future episode. Well, not episode, but thing. I don't really want to make this an episode, because that means I have to get regular. But 